What's going on everyone? This is ODC That's Me and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Collectibles New 52 Lex Luthor um, Deluxe Action Figure. Uh, this is a older figure. I believe it was released oh, I want to say about a year ago maybe? Maybe this year? Maybe it was at the beginning of this year? Um, I kind of have mixed feelings about this. I actually picked this figure up from Marshalls uh, for $24.95, and then I had a 10% off. So I got a really good deal on him. I believe he was originally around 40 or 50 bucks, something like something around there. But uh, this is pretty much what he looks like in the new 52, uh, even though that has ended uh, now since convergence. Um, I'm a little behind on my my comics um i i uh, tend now to just pretty much pick up trades and read those cause since they're a entire story arc summed up into one um kind of cultivated into one book so it's just easier for me to read those instead of having to go weekly and pick up my weekly comics um plus it gets expensive now with prices on comics going up um it's just not logically feasible for my wallet I'd rather focus on my action figures for now and I can always catch up on the stories but anyway that's a different story for a different discussing about Lex Luthor here sorry for going off on a tangent I tend to do that but uh, deal with it um, here, here he is in his armor um, he does have a couple pieces that are removable um, there's a couple quality control issues I have with this um, they are using clear peg joints in this just so you know um, especially with the um, the T bar going across for his his uh, his legs connecting to his torso, um, that pretty much is a clear joint. The shoulders and arms are on a clear peg. Um, so this is an older style figure. So if you did not know and you don't like the clear joints because they do snap off and tend to break, then maybe you want to skip this one. Just letting you know. But uh, I did not know that he was going to be have clear pegs until I actually popped him out of packaging. I'm not even going to bother with the packaging in this. It's pretty much just larger packaging with a bunch of figures on the back. It's actually got the 7-pack, the Heroes vs. Villains 7-pack on the back. Um, it's 8.5 inches tall, so it is a taller figure. Um, it's considered a deluxe figure. Um, there's a couple other problems, issues that I have with this besides just being having clear joints, which really pisses me off actually uh, especially with a larger figure because um, I have had larger figures break in the past but anyway he does come with a removable helmet piece and if I can get that off um, his head to me does look a little bit peanutty uh, I don't know it looks a little bit too small I don't think peanutty is a word but I'm just gonna roll with it whatever um, but his head does look a little bit small. Now, I know he's in a suit, and you're probably going to be like, well, he's in a fucking suit. But, um, I know. It just looks, it still looks a little bit small for me. I don't know. It just looks a little bit awkward. Just a bit. Like he's a little kid in a suit. <laughs> but uh, he does come with these wings attached to the back of him. And there's an issue with that. But I'll get to that in a second. Um, here is a close-up of the helmet I think it looks pretty good for the most part nicely sculpted the paint job looks pretty good I do like the detail kind of some battle damage on the side of his helmet there I think it looks really good to be honest with you and yes I have got a comment in the last video that my fingernails are not as beautiful as George Costanza's so I'm no hand model, so if my fingers bother you, then I don't know what to tell you. But there you go. There's the helmet. It looks good. I like it. Um, I do like the look of this figure, and I do like the suit. It's very, I guess, modern, modernized, and uh, probably up to date from his, you know, original suit, which is much dated, as you can tell. And people are commenting on videos I don't know um, but he does have a removable piece back here and it kind of pegs in but this is the problem <sighs> this thing keeps falling apart and then this keeps this hose attachment that should have probably been glued 
um, that goes right here into his arm doesn't stay in ever so it wants to fall out um, but this is part of the problem is that this piece right here which was probably I'm assuming glued in right here to kind of stabilize the backpack I'm just gonna call it a backpack jetpack whatever the fuck you want to call it but I'm just gonna call it a backpack the problem is that this came off I know I can just glue it back in but it's just annoying having to pull a brand new figure out of packaging and then just shit falls off on it just kind of really annoys the shit out of me but um, he does have two ways to stabilize his backpack which is on here he, if this would stay which it won't it keeps falling out but he also does have a peg joint but the peg joint isn't deep enough they should what they should have done is just sculpted this normal and given us a deeper peg or two pegs on this instead of giving us this weird hook joint i i don't know why we're doing this why 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 oh why just get rid of this just sculpt that in giving us two deep pegs um, but he does have one peg in there and it does sort of stay but it's not deep enough so if you shake it enough it just falls off which is really annoying okay and then the next really annoying piece is the fact that this hose no matter even if you get this on right here the shit just will not stay in here so I have to glue this now and hopefully that'll stay but every time you move the arm up um, over time it falls out and it's not very deep either neither of these peg holes are very deep and the shit just will not stay in there so it's like they should have given you a bottle of super glue with this figure that and his arm is kind of loose on mine I, I don't know I think I feel like this is one of those figures that's just a fucking lemon and it's just gonna continue to be a lemon for me I feel like I just have bad luck with DC collectibles sometimes but I do, like I said, the sculpt on him looks really good. I think the paint on him looks fantastic. Um, I'm still, like I said, the jury's still out on this head sculpt. It just looks a little bit weird, and he's kind of got some black paint right here. Oh, uh, it just came off. Okay. But he was flaking paint after I got him out of the package, and I kind of loosened his joints. I don't know if it's got to do, like, a ton of purple paint came off of his crotch and then off his shoulders and a little bit off his back when I pulled him out of package. There was like all this like purple and gray paint flakes everywhere when I pulled him out of package. So that's kind of annoying. I'm just going to take that off. But um, for the most part, his uh, articulation is as follows. His head can uh, rotate side to side. It can't do a full 360 rotation because of the uh, the uh, this sculpted piece over here hindering him uh, but he can uh, he can't really look up either past eye level but he can look down which is nice um, his arms they go up about that far towards the side now watch this watch it watch it watch one of his arms snap right off watch this I'm just this is just my luck it's just my luck but his arms go up that far. They do go down, full 360 rotation. He does have a bicep swivel, which is really nice. And he also does have some shoulder pad articulation right here. He has a single bend at the elbow. Oh, God, this is... Okay. That's pretty much it. That's all you get. I don't even know what the point of having that is. If this is all you're going to get. What does that do? I don't know. Whatever. But this is a um, this this piece right here is actually a separate piece sculpted on, um, and then you have wrist articulation right here, and it does swivel and it does kind of pivot back and forth. I think it's on a ball peg, yeah, it's on a ball peg, so there's no hinge there. He does have a diaphragm joint up top, and it does swivel up top, so he doesn't have any waist articulation. His legs. Now this is where these clear joints just tend to take a big fat shit is right here so that's about far forward you're getting this is normal that's about it so not the best but he can do the splits pretty well I guess maybe more so on that side than that side he just won't go up anymore I don't know that's weird 
Uh, but he does have a single bend at the knee and a boot swivel and an ankle hinge. Really nice ankle hinge, to be honest with you, for a big figure. No ankle pivot. And he does have two peg holes. No, one peg hole at the bottom of his foot. I don't even know why they put that there. Just to block it off, they should have just given us two peg holes, even though they don't come with display stands, so it doesn't matter. Um, here is his jetpack here. I feel like they could have uh, painted these red or some other color, I don't know, blue, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I feel like that would have been nice if they did that. Um, they did paint the tips. Kind of looks like Buzz Lightyear a little bit. <laughs> Lex, Lex Buzz Lightyear Luther <laughs> right here <laughs> to infinity and beyond. <laughs> But uh, here's his, uh, sorry, the jetpack actually does have some articulation. That's why I wanted to point it out. It does pivot uh, forward and back, and it does pivot um, side to side here. So that's it's pretty nice that this is a nice little added piece, and he does use uh, jetpacks from here, here and there. From here and there? What the hell does that even mean? Here and there, he does use them, but... I like the, uh, the the wash on here. It's got like a, uh, a silver wash going throughout here. It's, it looks really good. Gives it that wear and tear feel to it. Um, I just wish maybe this just pegged in instead of doing this weird hook and hanger bullshit and then a tiny little peg. Kind of defeats the purpose of not even having that peg because it doesn't peg in very deep. I don't know. That's just me. That Those are my nitpicks. That's what I do. That's why I do these to nitpick because it's enjoyable for me. But uh, the inside of his suit is actually painted a nice green color. It looks like a, almost like a lime green. So that's pretty cool. I do like that. It actually is sculpted. So those lines inside there are sculpted in. That's pretty cool. Uh, the paint could have been a little bit better over here. It's a little bit sloppy over here. Uh, it's kind of going onto the some of the silver right there. It's a big chunk of paint right there. I don't know what the hell that's about. That's weird over here too. That's just weird. Okay. Um, like I said, when I got this figure out of package, he just flaked paint all over the place. I, I would say the sculpt on him looks really good. Um, I think the paint, the majority of the paint looks pretty good for the most part. Um, especially the boots. There's a lot of wear and tear on the boots like he's been through a battle. So I'd say the the, the paint detail looks really good as well. I do like him. Like I said, at the end of the day, I really do like him. At the end of the day, people do overuse that saying. At the end of the day. Is it the end of the day yet? I guess it is for me. It's like 3 in the morning, so it's the end of the day. So you could say that. <laughs> but... Uh, I, I do like him for the most part. I just wish hmm, the clear pegs really bother me, and maybe I got a sturdy bunch of clear pegs on mine, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd pay fifty dollars for this, or forty bucks, or thirty bucks. I'm pretty happy with the twenty dollar price I paid. So I think he's around a twenty dollar figure. Um, he's not breaking the bank if he does break, <laughs> literally. <laughs> But uh, I'm probably going to display him without the jetpack, um, even though I'm going to fix this stupid stupidness that happened. And this is just awkward. Uh, I probably might just display him like this, to be honest with you. I think he just looks better like this. More traditional in his suit. So, I don't know. Uh, like I said, for the most part, he's pretty tall. Here's uh, the Flash standing next to... Lex Luthor, and uh, so he's pretty tall. Flash is a regular DC collectibles figure. He's around seven inches tall. So this is eight and a half. That's pretty good. So I think they. I think it looks really good. I, like I said, it look, for the sculpt, it looks really good. But he's got some QC issues. Just just forewarning people because that can save you a lot of money if you don't get a figure that has QC issues. So. Shop wisely, my friend. But, um, yeah, I don't know. For the most part, I like him. I, I just hope he doesn't fall apart. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, as always. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.